know, 11-11 is my birthday. Snake eyes. Does that like mean I'm lucky or something? I don't know. I was the year of the monkey. That's not surprising. Anyways, I wanted to show you guys the hair and makeup that I'm doing so that you can recreate it if you want to. And because it uses a lot of natural colors with a little pop of purple, um, it definitely kind of just goes along with everyone's skin and hair tones, and I feel like anyone could use it. So I will show you guys how to eat my birthday look, and let's begin. But before we even get started with applying the makeup in this tutorial, can we just take a moment to acknowledge how freaking can clear my skin is? Thank you, Mother Nature. Best birthday gift ever. This is Hourglass's veil. I have used this for so long. It's like rubbing broken down pearls into your skin, and it is amazing. Look at me, I'm a ghost. I'm just kidding, I just haven't rubbed it in yet. Next, it's time for some concealer. This one is from Tarte. This is the Miraculous Creaseless Concealer and I love it. Um, and I don't have a mirror. Wow, Cassandra, that was really intelligent. Like, do a makeup tutorial without a mirror. <laughs> All right, I found a mirror. This is an amazing concealer. It does work well for acne. It is very full coverage. Um, it is long lasting. And it also has Amazonian clay in it, um, which is very, very great for extremely oily skin because it does kind of help to combat some of that oil. And also Tarte is a brand animal that a brand animal? Tarte is a brand animal. Tarte is a brand animal that don't test on no animal. Um, so they are a cruelty free brand. They work very well. I'm going to stick it on my face and then I'm going to apply some foundation. How amazing is it to actually apply concealer and not feel like you're covering your entire freaking face in it? This is an achievement right here. And a little bit down here because Lord knows that I am growing whiskers or something because who knows what these breakouts are from. Does anybody else get breakouts here on their neck? Like, hello hormones. Here's this brush from BH Cosmetics. It's kind of a fluffier brush. It applies um, and buffs out very, very evenly. I'm going to go in with foundation. I have recently been loving the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. It's really nice. It does look very natural. And with a concealer, it is full coverage enough for me. Um, the only thing is that it's not my exact color. This one is an ivory. I make it work in color correct just because my skin changes so much during the winter season. I'm going to apply a bit just to my face. And then I'm going to use the It Cosmetics Buffing Foundation Brush to make sure that this goes on super, super smooth. And that's the thing I found about some foundations is that they almost like smooth across your skin so well that they look plasticky or almost like you're photoshopped, um, which isn't always the best look because it does look a little bit fake. And others just like fall into skin cracks and crevices too much. This one has a really, really, really nice combination. So it's like it does cover and it does kind of smooth out the skin, but it doesn't make it look so plasticky or so bumpy that it looks fake or, you know, uncovered. Um, so I really have been a fan of this. Next, it's time for some powder just to smooth over the top. This is the Smashbox Halo. I love it. It is literally like a cheese grater makeup powder. Um, it has this little like shaver in the middle. Um, and this is how you dispense the product. Isn't that cool? And I'm going to be using the Artiste brush. This is amazing. I've been using this for over a year now. Um, and it's kind of like reinventing makeup brushes. Like, look at this. Is this like an alien's toothbrush? No, it's a makeup brush. Um, but this puts foundation on your skin so smoothly. It's unreal. Um, and this Smashbox Halo powder in general is amazing. Pat and then brush out. Also, I found out that um, Kylie Jenner uses this for her foundation, and if you've ever seen her Snapchats, they are unbelievably flawless. So um, that's when I knew that I made the right choice. <laughs> Alrighty, and now that my face is hashtag flawless, it is time for me to get my contouring and highlighting on. Napoleon ice cream on my face for my birthday. I don't know if it's Napoleon, Napoleon, you, you know what I mean, the ice cream with the three colors. For my contouring, I'm going to be using this Tarte palette brush. I love this. This is from the Bamboo Collection. This is the 16 hour um, endless summer from Too Faced. It's obviously not summer, but because it's an endless summer, it's obviously applicable. Anyways, um, it's 16 hour wear and that's why I'm choosing it so that it'll last all night long and it's actually very, very smooth as compared to all other bronzers that I've used. And the reason why is because it has a slight bit of silicone in it. Um, so it's actually very, very smooth. Silicone is what makes, um, silicone is what makes certain products kind of like a filter on your skin, like glide on really, really, really well. They look great. They can cause breakouts in some people, um, but for a night like tonight, I need this to last. So a couple sweeps and I'm done thanks to this Fantastico brush. Nobody needs a dose job, you just need a good contouring job. Um, and I am going to just stripe this right down the sides. I'm going to go a little bit intense because I'll be out during the nighttime. I'm probably going to go to San Francisco with my friends since I live in the San Francisco Bay Area. Um, but I am going to just stripe this down 
um, and let it be a little bit more defined because it's my birthday and I want to look fabulous day and night. And in all my selfies, obvi. I go over just a little bit with whatever's powder is left on my brush because I am a harsh contour girl. Um, I don't want this to stick out too much um, because it has a tendency to do so. So I'm just going to smooth this over. Next, it's time for a bit of blush. Um, I am using this Too Faced Kabuki, and I'm going to use this gorgeous Tarte color. This one is Fearless. This is a really, really, really great color. Again, it's the Tarte, so it is cruelty-free. It is Amazonian clay. Um, it is magical. Smile and swipe this up my cheeks. Um, this is a kind of like a bright fluorescent pink. Um, fearless, kind of like a Taylor Swift pink, I guess you could say. Um, I don't know, I feel like a Taylor Swift pink would be a little bit more purple, where this, this one has like a little bit more bubblegum tinge, but who am I to say what kind of a pink Taylor Swift pink is? Wow, I have like some alien antennas going on here. Whoa, look at that! Business in the front, party in the back. This is the beauty guru uh, version of a mullet right there. Oh, look at me, I'm mulletlicious. Next, I'm going to take this Mica Beauty Angled Brush. Um, you could use this for contour, but I'm going to use it for highlight. This is NARS's Albatross. I have loved this forever. It looks very, very white, but it's actually more of a golden tinge. Um, gives me this amazing look. And you don't wanna go um, too much with this just because it is very highlight-alicious. Um, if I wanted to go overboard on my highlight, I would do strobing, but I'm not going for that. Also, don't apply highlight too much under your eyes, because then you just look oily. Once I am glowing like a lightsaber, we can get onto our eyes. And again, because I do plan to be out pretty freaky deacon long, um, I'm going to be applying before I'm going to apply it. I'm going to throw it across the room, apparently. Um, but this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And then once it dries, it just looks fabulous. Um, I am personally a huge fan of the Benefit Browsings. Um, this one is in medium. I'm just gonna fill in with the powder first just to kind of outline everything. And then I'll go in with the cream um, kind of at the bottom. Gonna use a little bit of concealer to clean up around the edges and then a little bit of powder just to kind of dim it. So again, I'm going to take the Tarte Concealer and just a, what is this, a BH Cosmetics 132 brush. It's just kind of like a pointy, I don't even know what it's for kind of brush. And I'm going to use this just to kind of get around the corners um, of my brows. This is a great way to get them super, super defined and on fleek. Next, I'm just going to take this foundation brush and kind of plop it over the top. Next, for the eyes, I'm going to be using Max Paint Pot and Painterly. But this is just the perfect way to get these colors to stay on all day long and look super, super vibrant when we apply them to our eyes. Alrighty, next I'm going to get to my eyeshadow and look at what I have. Ah, is this not amazing? This is a custom Makeup Forever palette. This is amazing. They did a little giveaway thing on Instagram where people could submit their makeup looks and get some of these um, with their photo on it. And I love it so much. And what's inside is just some regular Makeup Forever colors. Um, and these are what I'm going to be using to apply because these are some of my favorite basics. For the sake of narcissism, I just had to throw out how cool this little tin was. Like, look at that. Look at that. Oh, I'm such a narcissist. Oh my god. Anyways, um, so this is what I'm going to be using. And it's four very basic colors. So these are from Makeup Forever and you can use these ones or you can use your own. I'm just going to apply a little bit of color to my lid. I'm going to use um, this very nice shimmery gold because it's beautiful. Also using this Kat Von D makeup brush. Amazing. If you have not used Kat Von D's makeup, you have not experienced your life to the fullest potential. Amazing. It's double-sided. I'll use this side in a minute. Um, it's vegan, so it doesn't hurt animals. It's not like you have dead things on your face. They actually come in little coffins. This is like a coffin makeup case holder for your brush. Like, hello. Hello. I like them better than MAC. They don't shed. They really apply product perfectly. They hold on to a good amount, but not too much that you like throw it all over your face, but not too little that you need to reapply every five minutes. Just freaking amazing on every level. And I'm just kind of applying that all over my lid and a little bit up into the crease, just a little bit. Next, I'm going to take this defined pencil end and apply it into this kind of warm brown. And I love that this is a warmer brown. So that so if you have green eyes or blue eyes, this really, really, really makes those pop instead of just being kind of a flat brown. It's a very, very warm brown. Um, and so I am trying to get my eyes even because you see my eyes are two different shapes. It really trips me out all the time. Um, I am going to just get this right into this crease, kind of place it in and sweep it over. And then once I have that basic placement down, I can go in and actually clean it up. Outline here and 
kind of connect this to my lower lash line and fill in the outer corner. I'm gonna apply just a little bit to my under eye here and then kind of pull up and out. Now that I have that placement on, I'm going to take this other side that already still has a little bit of that gold and I'm going to kind of buff this out, starting on the inside because that's where I want it the lightest and then kind of moving over. Next, I'm taking a BH Cosmetics 129 and just applying this lightest color right underneath my brow bone before I finish blending. Um, and this kind of gives a really nice highlight to this brow and also helps us create a gradient on the eye um, because we kind of want this to be kind of ombre and very blended. Um, so this gives us something really, really nice to blend into, kind of surrounding this nice brown. And whatever is left here, I'm just going to kind of sweep right underneath. Last but not least, taking this little bit of highlighter and putting this right into the center um, of my tear duct to kind of make this pop. Next, it's time for some liner. I'm just going to be using the Mattified Black, and then this is a Tarte brush that is really, really cool because it is angled like this. Really, really easy to get into those smaller spaces. And this just kind of gives a double gradient effect since I want this really Mattified Black, but the liner that I'm going to use is actually a brown. This is also great if you can't get your winged liner even. Uh, because powder is a lot easier to erase than a liquid liner. Now that I have that on, I will go in with liquid liner. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, um, and it's very precise, which is wonderful, and it is in a brown, so it is a different color. And I am just going to use this to kind of line underneath the line that we just made with the shadow. Look at your hair. Don't worry about my hair. Look at, look at your hair. It's so curly. Oh, you smell like gasoline. This is my broski. I love you, Cassie. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you. That's my broski, if you couldn't tell. So I am in the middle of editing this, and I don't know why this got cut off. I'll just blame it on my brother. Uh, but this is the Lancome Drama Liquid Pencil. This is a absolutely gorgeous kind of deep purple. Apply this to your tight line and to your wet line. This is some Makeup Forever lashes. I am going to apply these with some Duo Waterproof. This is the Lash Show Natural Impact N403. They're very, very natural. They're kind of tapered at the ends, so they kind of give this look. And so I got these fancy um, Christmas tweezerman tweezers, obviously, because I'm so in the holiday spirit um, right now in November. Now that these lashes are a little bit more dry, I am just going to do my best to apply them. What you used to love, now you're gonna adore. La 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 lash glue, less is more. I just effectively turned a toilet paper commercial into an eyelash tip. Next, I'm going to use the Cartier, Cartier London um, Triple Shot Mascara. This stuff is amazing. Oh, look at that brush, though. Uh, this is great if you want something really natural. It's a very, very flexible hold, which is nice, but it's still longer, more volume. It's very, very natural. But because of that, it is perfect on its own, or it is perfect for lashes, um, because it gets those natural lashes without making fake lashes look too fake. I'm also going to apply a little bit just to my lower lashes because it's my birthday and I can. Next, it's time for lips. This is from Givenchy. This is number 311 Rose. It's beautiful, and you know, 11, 11, haha. This is an absolutely gorgeous color. Um, it is a little bit pink, but a little bit red, and I feel like it goes great with the rest of these colors. Not to mention, but do you see this case? It's like the coolest case ever. Like, it goes with my eyes. <sighs> Very last but not least, I'm going to apply a little bit of lip gloss. This is from Bite Beauty. It's amazing. This one is called Vintage, and it's kind of like a mauvish color. So now that these lips are done, that is all for the makeup, and next we are going to move on quickly to hair. Okay, so when it comes to hair, I am going to show you my curly hair tutorial. Now my hair is naturally curly and frizzy, so the first thing that I did do was blow this out, and I'm just going to talk you through that because otherwise it will take forever. So when it comes to blowing this out for some sleek smoothness that I can then curl and tame, um, I use this. This is the T3 Pro Eye Hair Dryer. Um, it is from Sephora comes with different diffusion heads, and what I did is that I used a, um, a round brush and small sections and kind of pulled away from my head and diffused in this motion. You do that to get this really smooth cuticle, um, and then because I have longer hair and I'm pulling with the round brush, it kind of makes some little loose curls at the bottom, um, but not really. Um, but blow out your hair. This is great. This one has a brushless motor. Um, when it comes to most hair dryers, they have kind of like a brush that runs in the motor and part of that, but this one doesn't have that which means that there is even heat distribution whether or not you have the diffuser on. You can take the diffuser off and it's just a regular hair dryer but with the diffuser on it's better for if you're doing blowouts or things like that um, but because it does not have the brush in the motor um, you can't really see in there but you should take a look if you get one or if you see one at Sephora. 
Um, the coils heat evenly so it gets evenly on your hair and it actually creates less static and less frizz because of it. So now that this is done and smooth, um, we can get into some of those cascading frizz-free curls. But if I do this, it's going to like frizz up my hair majorly. Oh, congratulations, Cassandra. You just got your hair in your lip gloss. There is no worse feeling than hair in the lip gloss. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So as this heats up, we could have a little hair chat. Wingardia Leviosa. I feel like Hermione. I don't even think it's Wingardia Leviosa, but you know, for someone who actually doesn't watch movies, that's pretty good that I know that, isn't it? Um, anyways, this is what I'm using. This is the T3 World Trio, and what I'm really going for is just kind of like these cascading curls. I want a little bit of volume here at the top, and I just want some nice curls that'll look beautiful, and so because I've blown out my hair before, it'll kind of fall back into this nice wavy state, um, which is really, really nice. Also, a reason that I really love this curler, um, it's made with a ceramic, um, a ceramic technology. The heat is actually evenly distributed, so it's not like half of your curl will come out really curly and then the other half will be limp. Also because of the ceramic or whatever it is that they use, it does not frizz up. Um, sometimes when I use clip-on barrels, which I will be doing for my bangs, what happens is that my hair ends up getting pulled and like frizzed out really bad whenever I use these. Um, but I found that that does not happen with these. Um, but it's really, really easy. It doesn't snag my hair and it stays longer because the heat is more evenly applied um, and it just makes your hair last. So um, it is the World Trio. This one comes with three different barrels, which is what I'm using. Kind of like a little birthday gift. Um, it comes with three different barrels. I'm just going to be using this one. This is tapered and I'm going to use this first um, to kind of get these pieces all over my head to just cascade and look beautiful before I add some volume to the crown. I'm just going to take the top where my bangs are out of the way. So now that this is heated up, I'm going to take out a piece. Um, and I can take larger pieces because it does have this even um, even heating distribution, which is awesome. So I'm just going to wrap this around the barrel and kind of pull it up towards my head. We just want to make sure that it does kind of cool down in that curled state so that, that way the curl has more bounce. Um, but again, I'm going to take this. Um, I am curling away from my face. I find that that just looks nicer. Um, and yeah, I am going to stop the camera so that I can just curl the rest of my head like this so I don't bore the crap out of you. <laughs> so the reason that I'm using this brow, which is a little bit tapered at the end, um, as opposed to just these, is because this actually makes the curls bigger at the top and kind of smaller and more structured um, right by the bottom, which I find is really beautiful. Now, if you just wanted regular curls, they have these two um, different interchangeable ones that are just kind of regular, uh, but I am definitely going for that tapered look. And that stayed on a little bit long, but that is okay. Now that these more cascading curls are done and this has cooled off just a little bit, um, you can switch it from the lock to the unlock position. I'm just going to take this out and I'm going to replace it with a more defined curler. Um, this is the one that kind of has the little thing on it. They have two different sizes of these, uh, but I am just using the smaller one. Um, so I'm just going to pop this in here, lock it in. As it's heating up, I'm going to take down my little uh, ding dong bun. This is my my little spiffy bun. This is actually a hair trend right now to have a little bun with like your hair down. Um, so these down here are definitely more cascading curls and up here I want some that are a little bit more defined with a lot of volume and curl. So the way this is different is that I'm going to take this, put it kind of to the end here, and then just very very simply roll this up. Kind of like a fruit roll up, only of hair and hot tools as opposed to actual fruit. So after about 15 seconds when that's done, I'm just going to kind of use this to kind of open that up a little bit um, and to release this and you have an absolutely beautiful defined curl. So I'm going to finish that all over here and then show you the bangs. So now that I've got these curls and just kind of kind of let them cool, we have kind of the waterfall ringlets at the top and then these nice bouncy curls at the bottom. And while that's happening, I'm just going to take out the section that is my bangs. Take this curler, again, pinching here at the bottom. I'm going to roll my bangs up, almost like a 50s style hair. Um, and this is going to give me a lot of amazing volume right here. Kind of let that out. It just gives us this gorgeous boost of volume, boost of volume, a boost of volume. It gives us a gorgeous boost of volume. Um, it also really just makes this hair look great. So next, I'm just going to use my fingers kind of to run through this. Um, again, it's a little bit flatter and smoother at the top, and then it cascades into these gorgeous curls at the bottom. And it's amazing how it's just as easy as this one simple tip to make this entire look come together. Um, and that is honestly it for this hair and makeup. I'm going to get on with the birthday festivities. I hope you enjoyed uh, this hair and makeup tutorial. If you recreate it, let me know. Um, post it to me on the Instagrams. And if you want to see what I'm doing for my birthday, check out my Insta. 
because it is insta fabulous. Um, I will definitely see you guys in the next video. I post new videos every Monday and every Thursday, so I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I will see you then. Love you guys. Bye.